Welcome to the longest running quiz show in the area. Categories. High school students compete to answer questions on topics from art to science, history to current events. And now, here's your Categories host, John Bartell. Hi, welcome to Categories. Today we're bringing you a great contest between two Blue Valley schools as the Blue Valley Northwest Huskies take on the Blue Valley West Jaguars. Let's go ahead and meet our contestors, contestants first from Northwest. Hi, I'm Crystal and I'm a senior. I'm Andrew and I'm a junior. I'm Dan and I'm a sophomore. I'm Alec, I'm a sophomore. I'm Avery, I'm a freshman. And our competitors from West. I'm Olivia and I'm a junior. I'm Sean, I'm a sophomore. I'm Keanu, and I'm a junior. I'm Sandy, and I'm a junior. And I'm Curtis, and I'm a sophomore. Fantastic. Here on Categories in the first round, we will take turns answering questions. If a team answers incorrectly, the other team will get a chance to steal. We did a coin toss before we started taping. It was won by Blue Valley West, so Jaguars, here we go with the first category, and it's music, specifically instruments. How many strings are there on a regular guitar? Sean. Six. Six is correct. Northwest, science, biology is your category. What part of the plant cell bears a striking resemblance to blue-green algae? Is it the nucleus, the endoplasmic reticulum, the chloroplast, or the ribosomes? Andrew. The chloroplast? Chloroplast, very good. Good job. Back to you, Wes, with a current events question. Longtime advice columnist Pauline Phillips died at age 94. Her column was known as what? Curtis. Dear Abby. Dear Abby. Very good. Huskies, back to you with U.S. geography. How many time zones are there in the United States, including Alaska? Crystal. Five. Sorry, that is incorrect. West, chance to steal this U.S. geography question. How many time zones are there in the U.S., including Alaska? Sean? Six. I'm sorry, seven. Seven is the correct answer. West, you do get the next question. It is fine arts, specifically theater. It is, the focus is the grim, turbulent story of life among teenage gangs in New York City. Name the musical. Sandy. West Side Story. West Side Story, very good. Huskies, back to you with general knowledge. What are the black keys on a piano tradition, piano, piano? Traditionally made of? Crystal. Ivory. I'm sorry, cannot take that. Jaguars, chance to steal this general knowledge question. What are the black keys on a piano traditionally made of? Sean? Ebony. Ebony, very good. West, you do get the next question. Science, specifically space. Which Apollo mission was aborted in mid-flight? Curtis. Apollo 9. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Huskies, chance to steal this science space question. Which Apollo mission aborted in mid-flight? Alec. Apollo 13. 13, very good. Huskies, you have the next question. History, Roman history to be exact. Who did Spartacus lead in his insurrection? Time on that, going over to the Jaguars, chance to steal this Roman history category. Who did Spartacus lead in his insurrection? Curtis. The Gauls. I'm sorry, cannot accept that. We're looking for slaves, the Roman slaves. Back to you, though, West, with this military history question. December 7th, 1941 is a date most Americans remember because it marked our entry into World War II. December 2nd, 1942, is a date few people remember, but it led to the event that ended the war. What happened on December 2nd, 1942? Sandy? I'm storming the D-Day beach. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Northwest, chance to steal this military history question. On December 7th, 1941 is a date most Americans remember because it marked our entry into World War II. December 2nd, 1942 is a date few people remember, but it led to the event that ended the war. What happened on December 2nd, 1942? Dan. The first test of the atomic bomb. 
cannot accept the first test of the atomic bomb. It's the first officially created nuclear chain reaction, which was not actually the bomb, so we cannot accept that. Sorry. Huskies, we are going to go back to you for the next question. It's famous places. The Circus Hall of Fame and the Ringling Museums are found in what American city? Alec? Sarasota, Florida. That's exactly the place. Very good. West, going to you with a sports question. The traditional marathon relay of the Olympic flame begins at what place in what nation? Olivia? Athens, Greece. Cannot accept that. Sorry. Huskies, chance to steal this sports category. The traditional marathon relay of the Olympic flame begins at what place in what nation? Dan? Mount Olympus in Greece. That's what we're looking for, Mount Olympus to be more specific. Northwest, you do get the next question, literary terms. They are, explan explan excuse me. They are explanatory notes added to a text by an author. What's the four syllable name for such notes that may explain, translate, cite sources, give comments, or paraphrase? Andrew. Annotations. Annotations is correct. We've taken an early lead of score five to Blue Valley West four. Back to you, West, with this vocabulary question. What is the term that makes a classification of words indicating whether they are masculine or feminine? Keanu? Gender. Gender. Very good. Huskies, back to you with math terminology. What are straight lines used as reference lines in mathematics called? Alec. Axes. Axes. That is correct. Jaguars. World geography. Lake Baikal is the largest freshwater lake in Europe and Asia. It is believed to be the deepest lake in the world. In what country is it located? Sean? Russia. Russia. Huskies, back to you with U.S. history. What phrase was applied to the five-year border war following the passage of the Kansas-Nebraska Act? Dan. Bleeding Kansas. Bleeding Kansas. Very good. West, science, biology. What is the ecological term for the group of organisms that capture energy from the sun? Sean? Photoautotrophs. Autotrophs or producers. Very good. Huskies, back to you. S another science question, this time robotics. State the first law of robotics as set down by Isaac Asimov. Crystal. Uh, robots shouldn't hurt people or kill them or stuff. Yeah, it does allow me to take a paraphrase on this one. It is a robot may not injure a human being. Really? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and I, it does say on the question, on the answer, you are allowed to paraphrase, so we are allowed to accept that. West, back to you, a literature question. Terrytown, North Terrytown, and Irvington on the east bank of the Hudson River in upstate New York are collectively known by what name in the works of Washington Irving? Sean? Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow, great job. Huskies, sports is your category. Ken, Ohio is the site of the National Football League Hall of Fame. Where is the National Rodeo Hall of Fame? Alec? Laramie, Wyoming. That is incorrect. West, you have a chance to steal this sports category. Canton, Ohio is the site of the National Football League Hall of Fame. Where is the National Rodeo Hall of Fame? Olivia? Austin, Texas. It is not Austin, Texas. It's Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City. Good guesses on both those. West, you do get the next question. It's U.S. government. Jane M. Swift not only became the first woman governor of the state, but also the youngest governor in the United States. Name her state. Sean? Wyoming. It is not Wyoming. Huskies, chance to steal this U.S. government question. Jane M. Swift not only became the first woman governor of this state, but also the youngest governor in the United States. Name her state. Andrew. Maryland. 
It's not Maryland, it's Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Northwest, you do get the next question. Current events is the category. In a lengthy primetime interview, Lance Armstrong convinced, confessed to using performance enhancing drugs during his cycling career. Who conducted the interview? Dan? Oprah. Oprah did, that's correct. Blue Valley West, humanities is your category. Which of the following names does not belong in this list? Keats, Elgar, Macefield, Shelley, Wordsworth. Sandy. Elgar. Elgar, very good. Composer, other were poets. Huskies, vocabulary is your category. What adjective describes any disease that is long lasting? Dan. Chronic. Chronic. Blue Valley West, general, uh, general knowledge on foods is your category. A rich blend of fruit and sweetener is not always made with cream. It can include gelatin or egg white. It often contains more sugar than ice cream, although it's nearly fat free. What is this dessert? Olivia? Frozen yogurt. I can I accept frozen yogurt. Huskies, chance to steal this general knowledge food category. A rich, a rich blend of fruit and sweetener it's not always made with cream. It can include gelatin or egg white. It often contains more sugar than ice cream, although it's nearly fat free. Andrew. Sherbert. Sherbert or even sorbet. We would have taken either one. Huskies, US history is the category. By what name was the special session of Congress called by Franklin D. Roosevelt from March 9th to June 16th in 1933 known? Dan? The New Deal. And I accept the New Deal. West, chance to steal this U.S. history question. By what name was the special session of Congress called by Franklin D. Roosevelt from March 9th to, do, to June 16th, 1933 known? Curtis? The Long Congress. I'm sorry, can I accept that? It was called The Hundred Days. The Hundred Days. West, back to you, though, for a military history question. War was once less complex, and we were less judgmental about it, but the song Praise the Lord and Pass the Ammunition was a hit during what war? Curtis. World War I. I'm sorry, I cannot accept that. Northwest, chance to steal this military history question. War was once less complex, and we were less judgmental about it, but the song Praise the Lord and Pass the Ammunition was a hit during what war? Sorry, time on that one. And the, the answer was World War II. World War II. That siren does denote our halftime. As we go into halftime, Blue Valley Northwest has a slight lead of 11 to Blue Valley West 9. This part of our program, we will go to a campus update in which a student from each school will give us the goings-ons with the student body and staff at their high school. And first, from Northwest, we have Crystal. Crystal, what's happening with the Huskies? Um, well, our basketball team is currently undefeated. They're ranked number one in the state for 6A and just beat our league rivals, Blue Valley North, at their gym. Our Dazzler dance team uh, competed at the Kansas Spectacular Dance Competition and won a lot of awards, including the Judges Award. The boys, uh, two of the swimmers in the boys swimming team were able to qualify for the state meet. And this week is Spirit Week at Northwest and we have our sweetheart dance on Saturday. What are some of the days you have for Spirit Week? Uh, today, although it doesn't look like it, is Wacky Tacky Day. Oh. So. Fantastic, <laughs> all right. And as we go over to West, it looks like Curtis, you're giving us the update for the Jaguars. Well, recently one of our students, Danny Ofecto, took first place in a dive competition. Our, our spring musical, Wizard of Oz, is going to air, I believe, February the 9th. And our Sweetheart Dance is also coming up. We're in the midst of our Spirit Week as well. And some of ours include Will Ferrell Day as well as 80s Workout. So that's pretty Fantastic. cool. I love Will Ferrell Day. That's awesome. That's awesome. Different classes have different like movies that they have to imitate. So someone has to do, like, one movie is Anchorman. Yeah, Anchorman the is Plays the faculty. Eighth, the Plays seniors the got semi-pro. Very cool. Very cool. I, I think one of the better spirit days I've ever seen is uh, Fanny Pack Day. I thought that was a good one, too. Uh, as we, before we head into the second half, uh, let's go ahead and review our uh, latest standings in categories. And uh, we have two, score, uh, two teams right now that are undefeated with records of 3-0 and in the top two places. Followed up by Blue Valley West and Shawnee Mission South with scores of 2-1. and one. Shawnee Mission East and Blue Valley North 
Shawnee Mission West and Blue Valley Northwest all scoring uh, with records of one and two. As we head into our second half, we are going to start off with our look and listen question. And that is where everybody here in the studio was going to be able to look at a monitor and be able to hear through our speakers in the studio the audio clue. And the look and listen question, as soon as someone knows the answer, may ring in. If they are incorrect, the other team will get a chance to steal. The look and listen question is worth two points. So both teams, here we go. Here is the look and listen question. Name the activity seen here. The opening of baseball season. Dan. Ceremonial first pitch. Ceremonial first pitch is exactly what we were looking for. So you are awarded two points. At this time in the in the round of our second round, it is the lightning round in which a question is placed on the floor for either team to answer. Team A responds correctly, earns a point. If they respond incorrectly, the other team will get a chance to steal. So here we go, both teams. World geography is the category. During World War II, it was known as Italian East Africa. What was it called before and after World War II? Dan? Ethiopia. It is Ethiopia. Math is the next category for both teams. Identify all the common factors of 20 and 30. Avery. One, two, five, and 10. Those are the four, very good. General knowledge for both teams. Hypochlorite and peroxygen, or, or peroxygen, are two types of what cleaning agent usually added before the main wash cycle? Sean? Bleach. Bleach, very good. Vocabulary, word origin. It comes from the Latin meaning to shake, and it is a mini earthquake. What's the word? Olivia? Tremor. Tremor, very good. U.S. geography states for both teams. It was originally settled by gold miners in 1881, and today is the center of major fishing and lumber. Andrew. Alaska. Sorry, cannot accept that. West, you have a chance to steal this U.S. Geography States category. It was originally settled by gold miners in 1881, and today is the center of the major fishing and lumber lumbering industry. Identify this state capital. Keanu. Portland. I'm sorry, cannot accept that. We're looking for Juno, Juno. Both teams, world geography. There are three rivers in China whose basins are about 70% uh, about of the people live using just one-tenth of the land. Name any two of these three rivers. Sean. The Yellow River and the Yangtze River. Yep, the other one would have been the West River. Very good. Literature for both teams. In Scott Chirot's Presumed Innocent, Rusty Savage is tried for the murder of Carolyn Polymus. Who actually killed Carolyn? Oh, Rusty's wife, Barbara. She killed him. Science, biology for both teams. Which of the following acids is most abundant in the human body? Is it hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, carbonic acid, or lactic acid? Crystal. Sulfuric. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. West, chance to steal this biology question. Which of the following acids? Sandy. Lactic acid. I'm sorry, it's carbonic, carbonic acid. Poetry for both teams. What is the last prepositional phrase which appears in the poem, The New Colossus, on the tablet inside the Statue of Liberty? Sean? Of Liberty. I'm sorry, cannot accept that. Northwest, chance to steal this poetry question. What is the last prepositional phrase which appears in the poem, The New Colossus, on the tablet inside the Statue of Liberty? We're looking for beside the golden door. U.S. geography for both teams. The Missouri River runs through Pierre, the capital of South Dakota. Oh. Um, Topeka. I'm sorry, cannot accept that. Huskies, chance to steal this U.S. geography question. The Missouri River runs through Pierre, the capital of South Dakota. What river runs through Bismarck, the capital of North Dakota? Tell 
time on that one. It's also the Missouri River. Vocabulary for both teams. An eponym is a word deriving from the name of what? Olivia? A famous person. A famous person, very good. General knowledge for both teams. What city gave us the first windowed envelope, two pants suit, zipper, lie detector, and skyscraper? Andrew. New York. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. West, a chance to steal this general knowledge question. Olivia. Chicago. Chicago is correct. Pre presidential history for both teams. Martin Van Buren, the eighth president of the United States, enjoyed a distinction that none of his predecessors could claim. Andrew. He was the first one born in, Amer in the United States. In the United States, very good. Science, mammals for both teams. The marsupial order of mammals includes kangaroos, koalas, and opossums. What nocturnal mammals make up the Chiroptera order? Sean? Bats. Bats. Very good. And you've narrowed the lead. It's Blue Valley Northwest 16, West 15. Sports for both teams. Name the first player in Major League Baseball history to have back-to-back -back 60 home run seasons. Andrew. Hank Aaron. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. West, chance to steal the sports question. Name the first player in Major League Baseball history to have back-to-back -back 60 home run seasons. Olivia. Sammy Sosa. It is Sammy Sosa. Very good. Current events for both teams. At last Monday's inauguration, President Obama took the oath of office on two Bibles, one owned by Martin Luther King Jr. and the other by whom? Olivia. Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln is correct, and you've taken a one-point lead. Science, in the science of earthquakes. Of the three kinds of seismic waves generated by an earthquake, compressional, shear, or surface, which travels only through solids? Sean? Surface. I'm sorry, cannot accept that. Huskies, chance to steal this earthquakes category. Of the three kinds of seismic waves generated by an earthquake, compressional, shear, or surface, Andrew. Compressional. I'm sorry, it's shear. It is shear. Science, another science question. This time it's chemistry. As the molecular weight of a hydrocarbon increases, does its boiling point increase, decrease? Sean? Increase. It does increase. World history for both teams. In the 1920s, what was the only Asian power to compete with the West on equal terms? Andrew. Japan. Japan is correct. Famous Americans, history is the next category. What American turned down the opp opportunity to become the president of another country? Was it Harry Truman, Bernard Barack, William Howard Taft, or Albert Einstein? Avery? Albert Einstein. It is Albert Einstein, and you've tied up the score at 18 apiece. World geography is the bo for both teams. The highest point on what continent is about five and a half miles high? Sean? Asia. Asia is correct. Math is the next category for both teams. What percent of 70 is 140? Sean? 200. 200 percent, that is correct. Another sports question for both teams. The length for this grueling Alaskan race course is 1,001. Andrew. I did a rod. I did a rod, very good. Shakespeare is the next category, and the, the answer starts with a TH. Macbeth was known as the blank. Sean? Thane. Thane, very good. Another chemistry question for both teams. It's a fairly long question, so please pay attention. This element resists abrasion, oxidation, and the action of acids, making it difficult to extract from ores. Its primary industrial use is in the manufacture of alloys for high-speed machi machinery. Its chemical symbol is W. Sean. Tungsten. Tungsten. Very good. World languages for both teams. Which of these is not an Indo-European language? Celtic, Germanic, Greek, Basque, or Spanish? Sean. Basque. Basque is correct. You opened up a bit of a lead here, 23 to 19. General knowledge for both teams. A Dutch treat is a form of entertainment in which each guest pays his own way. What is a Dutch door? Andrew. A group pays to go. I cannot accept that. 
West, chance to steal this general knowledge question. A Dutch treat is a form of entertainment in which guests pay is their own way. What is a Dutch door? Sandy. One person pays for everything. No, I can I think the clue kind of threw you guys off. It's actually a real door that's <laughs> divided in half, an upper and lower half door. <laughs> oh. It's a terrible, terrible, terrible question. Well, Let's move on. U.S. history, famous speeches. Maybe we'll get back on track with this one. What is the next word in this line taken from the famous speech made by William Jennings Bryant? And I start with this quote. You shall not press down upon the brow of labor this crown of thorns. You shall not crucify mankind. Crystal? Cross of gold. Cross of gold. Very good. Economics is the next question. Parkinson's second law says that expenditures rise to meet what? Curtis. Profit. I cannot accept profit. Huskies, chance to steal this economics question. Parkinson's second law says that expenditures rise to meet what? Andrew, you just beat the buzzer. Demand. It's not demand, it's income. Income. Art history for both teams. Andre Breton's 1924 October Manifesto inaugurated what new movement in art? Crystal. Cubism. It is not cubism. West, chance to steal this art history question. Andre Brenton's 1924 October Manifesto inaugurated what new movement in art? Sandy? Surrealism. It is surrealism. Very good. Surrealism. Vocabulary for both teams. This term today is loosely used to describe rulers who set no constitutional restraints on their powers. This word completes a description of Catherine II of Russia and, and uh, Curtis? Absolutist. I cannot accept absolutist. Northwest, you do have a chance to steal this vocabulary question. This term today is loosely used to describe rulers who set no constitutional restraints on their powers. This word completes a description of Catherine II of Russia and Holy Roman Emperor Joseph II as enlightened what? Dan. Despots. Despots is what we're looking for. Very good. With that correct answer, that does give you a score of 21. However, Blue Valley West did score 24, taking the game by a narrow margin of three. So congratulations to both teams on a game well played. Please join us again here next time on Categories as we will bring you the best and brightest minds of high school students all throughout Johnson County.